My name is Mark Wendell. I'm a product manager at Microsoft, and I'm super excited to introduce a new product that we've been working on called Microsoft Syntex Repository Services. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this product today. And at the end, if this interests you, there's a link to join our or sign up for our private preview, which is open now. OK, so last week at Build, we announced Microsoft Syntex Repository Services. At a high level, it is a faster way for developers to build and manage full featured file and document centric applications. I mentioned that we're in private preview. There's a blog post that's come out now this morning, actually, right here in Redmond. And it is at ak.ms slash syntex slash repository build 23. Everything I'm talking to you about today is going to be there in more detail. So you can, I encourage you to go and learn a little bit more. And I'll paste a link to the chat after I'm done with this presentation. But Microsoft Syntex Repository Services, if you look at the diagram there, it's right in the middle. It is a platform as a service that allows you to connect your custom applications to the Microsoft Cloud. And it's not just for your custom applications. We're also building our own Microsoft 365 experiences on top of this as well. But I want to step back and talk a little bit about why we have built this. So one of the things that we know through talking with our customers is they have many different repositories where their files and documents are stored today. So of course they're using Microsoft 365 applications and we're seeing over 200 petabytes every month of new content in there. But customers are also using other applications where content is being stored, like CRM systems, work management systems, or legal systems, e-signature, and, and the like. And the challenge with that is it delivers inconsistent storage, content management, security, compliance, and collaboration capabilities. So what we wanted to do is to solve that challenge by delivering and extending Microsoft 365 capabilities to those custom applications. And that's where Syntex Repository Services comes in. So the intent is to be able to bring Microsoft 365's consistent storage, content management, security, and compliance and collaboration capabilities to your custom applications. So here's a little bit more detail about what that really is. So Syntex Repository Services is fundamentally a document-focused storage service that is designed for ISVs and enterprise line of business applications. It is powered by SharePoint, but it is totally separate from it. It is a headless API driven solution where content lives within your customer's M365 tenant. And because of that, it is global enterprise ready with built-in security and compliance features that they've come to expect. You also get view, edit, and co-authoring capabilities for Office documents. And Syntex Repository Services is a metered pay-as-you-go service that is outside of other M365 entitlements. So if you're going to remember one thing from today's talk, the next two slides are it. And if you think about an M365 customer today, they already have their M365 apps where there's an, a storage layer that lives, where content lives within their tenant. So you can see that that bubble is the M365 tenancy. And in there, they have SharePoint and OneDrive files. The technical innovation that we're releasing with Syntex Repository Services is that your is showing up here on the right. So your application that you write will talk to the graph APIs and create storage containers within your customer's M365 tenancy. A few things to remember about these containers is that they live within the M365 customer. So the users of your application will store content within their tenancy. Also, these containers are dedicated to your application. So other applications won't, won't be able to access them and the experiences of, of the content within your containers will not be showing up within SharePoint and OneDrive. Your app gets to control the experience. 
They're also horizontally scalable. And so your application can have many storage containers within an M365 customer. Each container can store up to 25 terabytes of content. So it's built for Microsoft scale. And in fact, Microsoft Loop is built on Microsoft Syntex repository services to store its content. So you can use multiple containers with an M365 tenant to scale out horizontally, but they're also a permissions boundary. So each container can be permissioned separately. So you can have users of your application within a tenant that can access some content within the containers and not others. And your app gets to control that permissions access. So here's a bit more detail of the rich capabilities that Syntex Repository Services delivers. And I've got these bucketized into three different categories. The first is core content management. So if you're building an application on top of Syntex Repository Services, you can store any file type within there. It supports large files up to 250 gigabytes in size. You get automatic versioning capabilities with redundant storage. It supports any folder structure, file and folder permissions. You get recycle bin support with the content in there. You can also deliver search experiences right from within your application simply by using the right APIs. So you can allow users of your application to search content within a container or across containers, and they can share files within them as well. The second category is with Office co-authoring and collaboration. And so if you build an application on top of Syntax repository services, your app right out of the box gets Word, Excel, PowerPoint capabilities. So your users of your app can view, edit, and co-author documents right from within your application. With that, you get presence indicators. They can do at mentions. They can share to external users. You also get preview support for popular file types like PDF, so you can preview files right from within your application. And it also supports the Fluid framework. It's a really cool framework that we've built that supports Office Online and Microsoft Loop that allows you to build co-authoring capabilities right from within your application. You can build custom apps with Fluid. The third category is with Microsoft Purview Security and Compliance. And so your customers that are using your application, whether that's an IS, you know, you're sending it to multiple tenants or you're making an enterprise line of business app, not only can they issue e-discovery queries across their existing corpus of SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams chats, and emails, but they'll also be able to e-discovery query content within the repository services containers. And also they get to do file level auditing across actions that happen to files within those containers. Data loss prevention, the customers can bring their own key. It's, it supports GDPR and CCPA and other standards. Uh, your customers can implement retention policies, sensitivity labels, and conditional access. And one of the cool things to mention is that we have over a thousand security engineers working on this. So we'll continue to deliver security and compliance innovations into the repository services stack as they become available. Also super excited to announce that we have several launch partners that we've been working with. So you can see them here, Avpoint, Peppermint, BDO, and Bentley. Each of them has different use cases, but they're betting on Syntex repository services to provide the core content capabilities of their applications. I don't have time to go into all of the details of their use cases today, but that blog I mentioned earlier, Syntex slash repository build 23, Go over there and check that out, and you can see some of the more de some more details about their use cases. So, if you think that Syntex Repository Services might be a good fit for your applications, I encourage you to go to this link below, aka.ms/repository-preview, to sign up for our private preview. Also, next week I'll be delivering another talk here that will go into more detail and we'll get a little bit hands on and check out some of the APIs and other features and capabilities of Syntex repository services. So that's it for me. Go sign up for private preview if you think this might be of interest to you. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. Really, really cool. Thank you. Uh, great, to, great to get this one out. Um, it's, it's, it's obvious that we've been working internally, and you've been working with your team internally for that for a long, long, long time. So awesome, awesome stuff. So 
and the feedback is welcome. That's why well, that's why the private preview is ongoing, and, and sooner or later it's going to go to public preview, and then something's going to be available and all that. But um, great, great, great options to contribute at this point already. Thank you.